Hey guys, welcome. <clears throat> Fifth episode of Catman Do Live. Um, <laughs> just got back from Fabaic. Uh, actually, it was over Sunday, but you know, she wanted to go to the beach, and we did. <laughs> um, let's see, I, I guess I wasn't prepared for this. Um, I tried it, but I didn't have any viewers at 7, so I decided to stop and wait till 8. And um, if you want, you can give me a call. Unfortunately, my magic jack is not working. So if you call this number below, uh, that is my home phone, and that is right here. And you'll be able to call me. I'll put it on speakerphone so everybody can hear. And uh, we'll chat live about Fabiac. If you haven't been to it, um, call in and ask a whole bunch of questions. So, you know, um, <clears throat> we can get you to come next year. Uh, if you did go, give me a call. Let me know what you thought about it. And we can discuss, you know, um, some of the pros and cons. Mostly pros, very few cons. Um, just, you know, let's talk about it. Uh, I had a great time there. Uh, I got to paint Teresa. Teresa's first time going. It was my third time. Um, she learned a lot of stuff. Uh, she was going to paint my face for this live video, but instead we decided to, uh, well, I painted my face in the car as she was driving. So you can see that video, and I'm actually editing one that's going to be put up uh, onto my Facebook business page so that it's not a sideways headshot. Um, since I had the video up and down instead of horizontal. Um, other than that, Fabiac 2013 was, uh, great. I mean, it started off with a, um, a Sugar Skull welcome party. And, uh, what we didn't know was that there was actually going to be a wedding. Um, I posted up a lot of pictures on my Katmandu face and body art page. Uh, but the thing is, uh, I haven't posted any of the wedding photos for Wiser Warner or Leah Selly. Um, the reason I haven't is because I want to go through the pictures. I want to post up the best pictures I can, not crappy ones. <laughs> um, I also haven't posted up any of the award pictures yet because I want to make sure that those are the good ones that are being posted too. Um, but a lot of the other ones you can see. Uh, there was a couple face paintings that I did that I forgot to take photos of, but I did get them taken in the photography room, so as soon as I get my CD in, I'll be able to post those photos up for you. Um, there is a couple pictures, uh, one of the front and one of the back of my girlfriend Teresa, who I painted up as a cybernetic, you know, um, bodysuit. You know, I, I wanted to complete the arms and I wanted to complete the face, but I ran out of time and they were about to close the photography room, so I just ended it with that. But it looks pretty cool, and all that is sponge and brush. There's no airbrush involved in it whatsoever. Um, let me think. Uh, you can see her sugar skull. I dressed up in a sugar skull. You can see my face next to um, Sheila Logan's. Uh, that I took in the mirror. I painted her face. I painted Teresa's face and my face. Uh, but you got to get the full effect. And I hope somebody out there has a photo of the actual wig. <laughs> uh, boobs and all. I mean, uh, of the whole outfit. Uh, once that gets posted, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's hilarious. Um, and he's not prettier than me. Yes, I am. I am prettier than you. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> so, um, if you haven't seen the video of me doing this, <laughs> check out my profile um, or wait until I get the video uploaded. It's hilarious. You'll love it. It's it's great. Um, other than that, what can I tell you about Fabiac? It's a huge event where there are tons of artists from all over who are just having a great time um, connecting with each other, jamming, uh, just having fun. 
I mean, uh, some of the people that are there all at all the conventions, uh, Jenny, Mark Reed, Pasher, Jay, Nick. Unfortunately, Brian wasn't there. Um, we know why, but we missed him. We wish he could have been there. Um, who else? There's uh, Jeff Simon. Um, Annie Reynolds was there. A uh, whole bunch of other people. Katie Hunt. Tons and tons of talented people were there. Especially Marcella and Heather. Of course, they're going to be there too. So they had fun. And you know, your models, the big, huge, muscular, dark-skinned, Spartan Sean Jones was there. You know, all the girls fall in love with him. I want to paint him. I want to paint him. Except for her. No. <laughs> She's like, I'll, I'll take you, baby. <laughs> I don't like Mark Reed either. So, you don't like who? Mark Reed. Why don't you like Mark Reed? Because he comes off as a cocky smart ass and doesn't care. Okay, is that the only reason? Yeah, pretty much. I don't like his attitude. Do you like his work? Uh, yeah, his work is good. His work is good, but you don't like his attitude? No, I don't. Okay, well, you heard it here. The first female to ever state her mind about Mark Reed live. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> and she doesn't care. So, um, other things that happened. Um, let's see. Ah, during the jams. They had different contests going on. Um, unfortunately, Wolf Reichter wasn't there. He wasn't able to make it for personal reasons. So they had a blacklight tent sponsored by uh, Cryolin that was set up in the jam room. And people could do blacklight art and different things in there. Um, Pesher was painting uh, Lisa Greenberg. Uh, that piece came out good. I do have a couple photos of that one. Not the finished product, but, you know, the during project. And it looks pretty good right in the during. So that was fun to do. Um, what did you learn? Um, I learned the basics of henna. How to use a rainbow cake. And? And how to place, how to um, map out the face. How to map out the face. To and who taught you that? Was that Nick Wolf? No. Well, no. No. Nick did do a really cool mapping of the face, which uh, I got some pictures of, but I'm not sharing it with you because I'm using it as a trade secret. Ha 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 ha. If you were there, you got to see it. If you didn't, if you didn't go, then you didn't see it. So, um, you'll just have to look out for that. Hold on a second. I do have my door open. I'm going to go close it so you can stare at her unless she wants to talk to you. Won't take you long. Okay, door closed. Outside noise gone. Everything gone. So. <laughs> what else did you do? I don't know. <laughs> She's being silly. No, I'm being put on the spot. She's being put on the spot. Okay, so if anybody's out there and they want to call in, go ahead and call my home phone number. Like I said, I'll have my phone here. I'll be able to talk with you live. But... Oh, let's see. So, you can join in the fun at any time. Uh, there are multiple ways of seeing this video. You can call in. You can do what you want. 
We're only 10 minutes in, so there's plenty of time to call in. Um, also, let me tell you about um, this weekend. I have uh, Fanboy Expo in Knoxville, Tennessee is going on this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's a big comic book convention. I'm going to be set up there all three days painting bodies and faces. If you like going to comic book conventions and you're going to the fan book, Fanboy Expo in Knoxville... Come see me. I can match you to your costume. If you have an idea that you want done, I can work with your imagination. I can come up with anything and everything. I can work with you. Um, just a uh, great day, great event. Um, having fun, painting faces, painting bodies, meeting other artists uh, who do comic books, meeting other um, actors and uh, people who are going to be there. Um, who else? Who's going to be there? Uh, Lando, the guy who plays Lando Calrissian. What's his name? Um, oh, I can't remember his name. Can't remember. Uh, also, uh, the guy who plays Chewbacca is going to be there. No. Yes. Boba Fett. Chewbacca is going to be there, no. and Boba Fett. No. Mm -hmm. No. Yep. You better look again. Uh, lots of Walking Dead zombies will be there. Um, <laughs> the little ones, no big names. Yeah, all, all the ones that are already dead. And don't have any more parts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so, what else? What was your favorite part of uh, Fabaic 2013? My favorite part? Um, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I have to think about it. You had all this time to think about it. Not really. Okay. Well, if you also haven't noticed, I've uh, posted a picture up. Um, I don't think I posted it up on uh, my business page, but I did post up a picture. She wanted to go to the beach after uh, Fabaic, so I took her to the beach. Uh, we actually went to several beaches. Uh, she wanted to spend more time at the beach, so we spent an extra day traveling. And on our way through, we hit St. Augustine, Florida, where the beaches were nicer and I got out my camera and I started taking a whole bunch of pictures and one of the things is we saw this big old flock of seagulls so I told her okay let's get as close as we can and then you run at them and I'll take pictures well one of the best pictures I took was called poopin didn't didn't try to get it didn't didn't try to take the shot of this it just happened when I was just snapping but you see the bird flying and he's pooping at the same time. Unbelievable picture. I didn't think I'd be able to get that picture at all. Um, so, uh, there's more pictures that I had to put up and everything of, uh, you know, the wedding and the awards and of the beach and uh, several other things. But um, I'd like to hear other people's uh, experiences of Fabiac 2013. So if you call in or even if you chat a question to me, let me know. Um, I'll be able to see all the chats right here um, on my screen. So go ahead and send me a chat and uh, I'll answer any questions you have. If you have a phone, give me a call at this number on the screen and uh, I'll talk with you live. Um, other than that, uh, let's see. Uh, some of the perks about being at Fabiac, you get to meet all your Facebook friends uh, that you talk to all the time. You don't get to meet all of them, but you get to meet a lot of them. And uh, you get to exchange, you know, your business cards and information and tips and suggestions. Hey, Kathy, how's it going? <laughs> I see you there. <laughs> Hi. Um, some of the other things there, you get to uh, love my color. <laughs> Thank you. I love your face too. Who's that behind you? That's my girlfriend. That's Teresa. <laughs> That's Teresa Hale. She was actually at Fabiac too with me and uh, it's it was her first time she's a brand new beginner face painter and um, she learned a few things she was gonna paint my face but since I did this in the car on the way home she's not able to Hi. 
<laughs> um, the jams are fun. The classes are eh, somewhat fun. It, it depends Walters. on what classes you're Lily in. Lily Walters was the best class. Lily Walters was the best. You heard it here first. Because she taught everyone to be quiet, and she told everyone to look up and pay attention. She made sure she, everyone paid attention. And no one else did. I like that. It was structured like it should have been. How many were there this year? There was... Over 200 people. I don't count numbers, and I don't see all of them. They don't all talk to me at the same time. <coughs> so. <laughs> we have a new thing in uh, Fabiac. We are the Shh Club. Uh, there are a few of us that like to go out to the jacuzzi. And if we get too loud, we got to go Shh. And everybody does it. So, um, what was my favorite part? The after parties. The after parties were great um, at first, but being Memorial Weekend, we got an influx of people coming in, uh, staying at the hotel who were not with the convention. Um, the jacuzzi got messed up. It got uh, icky. It right. got icky and broke down because of people using it uh, improperly. And... Um, <laughs> That was next. Uh, the first thing that happened was on Friday night when the whole jacuzzi and main pool got shut down because of some non-convention people who had the cops called on them for being disruptive and loud. Hmm. Sounds kind of bass backwards, doesn't it? <laughs> My favorite part, not non-favorite. Um... That was my favorite part, was the after hours party. You know, the jams were fun. Got to meet all kinds of artists and new ones and, you know, uh, share things. But I think my favorite part of the whole convention is just being able to uh, meet with people. Yeah, my favorite part was the jams. <laughs> okay, Kathy, fine. I understand. But, um, I guess the, the whole thing's my favorite part. <laughs> I don't have to type it. I can actually do it. <laughs> so, um, let me see. Some of the classes I took that... Or kind of fun. The airbrush. Uh, yeah, the airbrush was really neat. Somebody's calling. Oh, we got a phone call. Phone call. <laughs> Hello. Hey, it's Sheila from Arizona. Turn down your computer. Yeah, when you have your computer up, I can't hear anything because you get a reverb. Okay, it's fun listening to the echo back, though. <laughs> yeah, it is sometimes, but I had that problem, and it, it didn't really work out for me very well. Hi, Teresa. Hello. <laughs> so... Yeah, your tiger face looks good there on the screen. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> well, then, so, you know, I left the bag after two days, so fill me in. <laughs> what, the entire two days, what happened after that? Well, after that, it was much of the same. Uh, classes and jams. The uh, closing ceremony was pretty cool. What do you mean the closing Elvis. ceremony? The... Oh, yeah. Well, it was her first time. Closing ceremony is about, you know, the same as it is each year. Well, but uh, they had Elvis there this year. And he was a really bad Elvis. And he kept going on and people started leaving. <laughs> oh, that's right. I saw him. Yeah. 
ma'am. Okay, so that was my first fabaic. So the closing ceremony, did people stand up or then what, like, what was that about? No, it was just, you know, the awards and everything else like that. And they had Elvis. He was, you know, doing his little thing, you know, and uh, okay. advertising his show and stuff. And I'm like, you know, the entertainment was fine after the first couple of songs, but then he went on and it just kind of, we lost it. Everybody's <laughs> tired. Competition pieces. But it, did you, um... Yeah, so it was great. Everybody posted so many pictures, and did the, so with a pool party. Did a lot of people come to that back pool? Oh yeah, we had a lot of people come to the back pool. Uh, Wiser and Leah came. Um, let's see, Pasher was there. Uh, Nick came out uh, on the Friday. Uh, Mark just doesn't show up. For some reason, Mark Reed just keeps to himself. He doesn't want to join us and hang out with us, so he wasn't out there. Uh, Dutch was out the second night, and we stayed up till about four o'clock in the morning just talking. Um, yeah, there was a lot of people, but yeah, we have our favorite shh saying now. So we're the shh club when we're at the pool. <laughs> oh, good deal. Did um? So I saw that girl painted that airbrush, that picture of Marcella. That that was great. Was, was she really surprised when she saw that? The which one? Yes, she was. Uh, Tina's B, I guess, yes. painted Marcella. Yes. Yeah. Somebody, that was amazing. Yeah, that was hilarious, and I wish I would have got the initial reaction, because she just, like, fell out with that. Um, yeah. But I do have some photos of her reaction to that, and uh, I'll be posting those up later. I'm trying to go through and make sure I had the best ones to put up. Um, Are you posting your photos on your page or on the Fabaic? Oh, I post them on my page, and then I uh, share the link to Fabaic. Okay. Cause did you do some body painting then the next two days? Uh, I did a body painting on Teresa, and then I did a couple face paintings, and I forgot to get pictures with my camera of those. I did get uh, pictures of Teresa's body painting, and it's on there. It's on my business page. You can see it. Oh, how cool. Teresa, i got to see it. How long did that take? <laughs> oh, good uh, couple of hours. Yeah, a couple of hours. Yeah. But, see, she was also part of the um, face painting competition. She was a model, so she was taken up a couple times by that. And... Um, so, you know, a few hours went by. She had to go wash it off and everything else like that. So it, it really took away from the jam time. But, uh, mm. you know. No, you didn't enter um, the competition. <laughs> Kathy Newton's asking if I entered any competitions. No, I do not enter competitions. Um, I did the first year I went. I will not enter any more competitions. Mainly because... I don't plan anything out. I do it spontaneous. And for me to do something spontaneous at a body painting or a face painting competition would mean I would have to come in with a, um, what is it, a uh, large cargo container full of props just to go through spontaneously and find something that I could use spontaneously. Uh, I can't carry around all that stuff. So I don't get into competitions. Plus, I don't want to put myself out there as... Um, above or below or anywhere else in the fun. thing. Uh, I know people do competitions for themes, but you know you can have a themed event without having to have awards or anything else like that. Fine if you're first or second or third place and stuff. I mean, it, life doesn't have to be a competition and neither should art. <laughs> but if people want to compete, they will compete. I won't. I will assist them like I did this year, and last year I assisted with a body painting competition, and this year I assisted Shannon Holt with her piece during the body painting competition. Oh, so. yeah, I saw that. I saw that, too, yeah. She's a good artist, too. Yeah, she painted on you something. There were so many pictures. Well, that was just <laughs> neat, you know, to follow it. <laughs> not be there, but um, did 
Do they do that every year? I thought they were always kind of secretive with the photos, but... What do you mean secretive? Well, I mean, did they, like last year, did they post a lot of photos on the internet so that other people could see? Yeah, I posted a crap load of them. <laughs> oh, okay. I posted more last year than I did this year. Do you think this one was a good for Bayette compared to the last one? I don't know. They all tend to differ. I like the <laughs> track program that they had last year where um, if you're a beginner, advanced, intermediate, you know, you had certain instructors in the morning time uh, that would work directly with you for like three hours each day and stuff and you would go through everything so that you can get caught up. I guess that didn't go over very well and it just went back to the regular classes in the morning, after lunch, and you know, afternoon. So. Yeah, you're right. That probably would have been good for me too. We'll have to see what they plan for next year, but yeah, you just had to kind of know which classes were for what, I guess. <laughs> but um, I, I thought it was a really good for that. That's why I just wondered if like it was one of the best ones or something. How many others have you been to? None. <laughs> None. But just with them getting married, and I guess just there were so many people from all over the world. I guess. You know, I just didn't realize, and everybody was just so upbeat, and I, I just didn't know it was such a great experience. You know, it just kind of surpassed what I, would, what I thought, I guess, what I expected. Yeah, well, it either gets better or worse with time, so, you know, um, there were some good things. There were some things that I didn't like about it that I liked last year's better than this year's, but then again, there were some things I liked about this year that, you know, surpassed last year. Um, it all depends. Think, when working with a convention, doesn't matter how many times you've done it, um, you just can't tell how it's going to be taken. You know, you're trying your best to do something. It may not go well with one thing, but great with another. I mean, you just have to keep working with it. I mean, there's no real set thing that says this convention is going to work this way all the time. Because it constantly changes with the people there and the instructors and everything else. So you just got to go with what you can, you know, try to make it work for you. And, and they do. And, you know, a lot of people liked it. There were some that disliked certain things. But, you know, there's always going to be those people that like and dislike, you know, whatever. They're just going to be that way. Uh, Kathy. What was it last year? What's that? What hotel was it last year? It was great. I liked it. No, what hotel? I mean, what hotel did what they hotel? stay at last year? The Bonaventure. Oh. It's, the, it's the second year being at the Bonaventure um, in Fort Lauderdale. The reason they did that was because they're only 15 minutes away from Silly Farm and Faba TV from their actual location in Davie, Florida. It's not that far away. When they were in Orlando and they started up Faba. It was Faba TV. It was just too far for them to travel. Two hours each way, two and a half hours each way to go and do Faba TV and the convention and everything else. So this way they were able to go back and forth to, you know, the Silly Farm Home Office and the Faba TV studio and the convention within only 15 minutes, 30 minutes altogether and stuff. So it makes it a lot easier for them to have it where they have it. Um, now the one in Orlando. The first year I was there, it was a great convention. Some of the bad things were, were the hotel. Um, there was no free parking. Uh, there was no free internet. Um, people were breaking into cars in the parking lot, and the hotel said they weren't responsible, even though you know, uh, they were taking money for you know, the vehicles and stuff. Um, so uh, let me answer uh, Kathy's question. She's... <laughs> She said she wants to take a picture of my face. Well, I can tell you this. The face you're seeing on your screen is not high quality. And <laughs> <laughs> this face was done in the car uh, as my girlfriend's driving. So, you know, there's potholes on the ground. She's hitting the brake. She's speeding up. She's hitting the brake. She's speeding up. She's turning this, that, and everything else. My hand's not that steady, and I'm doing all this using nothing but my cell phone as a mirror. So, 
<laughs> it may look good on the screen. I can guarantee if you saw it in high definition, you'd be like, that is not Daniel's work. <laughs> Um, yeah, I know. Even I can tell that I'm new with your work. I know you could do better, but it, I thought the stripes on the top, like just watching your technique, that showed up so good. And the sponging, the blending, you got so much color on there right away. So it was interesting watching it. It was kind of like a mini little step-by-step uh, tutorial or something. Yeah, having fun with it. I mean, I, I pretty much I had her paints because they were in a nice little case easier to get to than mine and um, you know everything was right there I just got some water out of the cooler so it was nice cold water that I got to put on, ice cold water that I got to put on my face and <laughs> so it cooled me off really well especially with a sunburnt face but uh, no you know I'm, I'm always a stickler for trying to do as much quality as I can no matter what um, yes Kathy if you go to my uh, profile my main profile, Daniel Lazarus, you'll see the video on there. It's kind of sideways. I'm working on, um, I'm going to be uploading my new one right now. Let me close out my thing. Um, hold on. Let me do it right now while I'm talking to you guys. Um, And then, would you also do some more tutorials? Because um, someone actually called me today to do some body painting in clubs on the next Friday nights throughout the summer. Right. So I was really excited about that. But I'm like, oh, my God. So I didn't know if maybe you would consider doing some beginner designs or something. And I just didn't know if you had been on YouTube lately. Um, I haven't done any um, tutorials lately. Uh, I just I've been kind of in a funk with that I've been trying to do so many other things right now I just haven't had the time to do any more tutorials but um, if you have any ideas for tutorials of what you want to see uh, shoot me a message and stuff so well, that I way I can get it see maybe, I love that some of your body work that one where that girl sewed up like a doll right. I don't know how hard that would be for a beginner but I would love to see something like that because most of the models will be girls just something super cute either that circus theme or you know that doll theme and like gosh I just would love it I think a lot of people I noticed a lot of people at the convention were getting trying to transition into body painting but it's scary for us you know yeah it is um well, the thing time, is, if, if, you, if you have time to throw a tutorial, even if you can't finish the whole painting, maybe lovely Teresa will let you, uh, you know, just do a little discussion and placement, you know, something to kind of get a rough sketch on there or something. Right. Um, what I'm in the process of is trying to find out a way I can uh, do high quality videos on my um, website. So, you know, I'll still do my Catman Do Live. I'll still do call-ins, but um, I'll have a higher quality video because I'm not spending $2.99 a month um, for this live stream to get high quality because I just don't have enough views on it yet and stuff. But I am going to start doing some more tutorials, and they will be recorded, and they will go straight to my uh, Katmandu FBA you know, YouTube channel. So if I can do the YouTube live and have that attached to my... Uh, website sort of like what Faba TV has for their live shows that allow me to automatically record everything that's on there and you'll be able to see high quality um, you know me painting myself or Teresa so that sounds fabulous okay thank you oh no problem thanks for calling all right bye 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 Now, uh, that's how easy it is. Just give me a call. I can talk to you. I can even talk to you, Kathy, and, unless you just like typing and you don't want to be heard live on the air. <laughs> um, let me see. 
You said, Kathy said, the hardest thing about body painting for me, <coughs> being a face painter, <coughs> mm, had something go down the wrong windpipe. Also brought to you by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Uh, always drink high C orange. I don't drink soda from McDonald's. Okay, so what Kathy said was, hardest thing about body painting for me being a face painter is I learned to paint tight for the face. The body is expansive, so I should make my designs bigger, not as detailed, yet how many people are on uh, not as detailed yet? Uh, so... Uh, yeah, that's true. You need to have bigger, bolder lines. But you can also do intricate stuff um, on the body, too. You don't have to do it all small. Um, it's just a bigger canvas for you to work, unlike the face. Um, how many people are on right now? My voice sucks electronically. Uh, we have three viewers, and if your voice sucks electronically, so does mine. <laughs> So, three viewers means there's only two other viewers besides me. <laughs> I am actually counted as a viewer on this thing. So, I only have two other people watching this right now. <laughs> oh, when I first started this, I had something like 11, 12 people watching me. Uh, John Place started watching in the beginning. And then, I don't know what happened. <laughs> people stopped watching. Maybe they watch my uh, recorded video, because I always record these, so you'll definitely be able to see it when it's over. But, uh, other than that, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right. Nice seeing you, Kat, or nice chatting with you, Kathy. Uh, I think I'm going to go to, I think that's it for now. There's not really much more I can say about Fabaic 2013. Um, if you guys would like to see me do tutorials on here, um, hit me up with a message. Uh, PM me on Facebook. Uh, comment anywhere on my page. Uh, let me know what you would like to see me tutorial and I will see if I can do it in a live show in the upcoming weeks. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.